Hello, once again. So first, let me explain how does the new mid surface command works. So generally speaking, this tool generates a surface between pairs of selected faces. So um, and this feature will be widely used, especially when you want to simplify your geometry according to 2D modeling. So MyTask Analytics offers um, following options um, related to extraction of mid surfaces. So now let me show you very simple geometry, and this is a sheet metal, and let me introduce you automatic option. So uh, now I'm clicking on the, on the shape and clicking on apply it. And you see it's done. So the mid surface has been generated very quickly, and this option is dedicated for solids with constant thickness, mostly, uh, like sheet metals. And but if you want to try this function on more complicated uh, geometries, you can use it also. But of course, in everyday practice, you will need more complicated shapes. So uh, so that's why semi-automatic option could be better choice. So now let's take a look on the second example. So you see on the screen some simple bracket. And now I'm selecting the external surfaces of this bracket. So let's click on the rib and let's click on the bottom faces. If we go to the preview button, so I'm doing this right now, uh, we can preview the result of mid surfacing generation. So as you see, everything looks fine. So I'm going to click OK. And mid surface model has been generated. Uh, there is one thing I want to add to this function. So after extraction, all of generated faces has got imprinted curves. And this is very important because if we go to the mesh, and let's say we generate a mesh, so now I'm selecting all, all of surfaces and I will generate a mesh for you. Okay, so you see that. And as you see, if, if we create an, uh, the mesh on generated mid surfaces, we will see that mesh has got the same CD. So the nodes are already already merged, and it will um, need you to uh, uh, shorter the generation time. So thanks to this comment, we will be able to create lighter models more effectively. So lighter means uh, in some cases you will use shell elements instead of solids and this will lead to obtain shorter analysis times with the acceptable level of accuracy. So actually that's all and let's go back to the presentation at this moment.